This is Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 5, the company's latest and greatest flagship foldable. It's the most expensive Samsung phone you can get right now, but it's a new hinge and a more powerful chipset enough to justify that price. I'm Ali for 5M Tech, and let's find out in our Galaxy Z Fold 5 review. Year after year, Samsung seems to stick to the tried-and-true formula with a Z Fold series phones. The star of the show is the large foldable inner screen, which is as big as a mini tablet. When you fold the device and tuck that inner screen away, you can use the cover screen on the outside, and the experience is similar to that of a regular smartphone. Not a whole lot has changed this time around. What you do get on the Z Fold 5 is a more refined design and a new chipset. Let's start with the design. The phone is more eco-friendly, using more recycled materials, and the external panels are covered by the sturdier Gorilla Glass Victus 2. The Z Fold 5 is also thinner than the previous model and is noticeably lighter too at 253 grams. This is still no featherweight, but the slimmer form factor makes it a bit more elegant and comfy to use. And you still get the IP68 protection here against water, which is really nice. The new flex hinge is made from armor. The new flex hinge aluminum and reinforced by a dual rail structure to be extra sturdy. This hinge allows the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 to fold flat finally getting rid of the gap between the two halves. That's a welcome change over the previous generations with their wedge-shaped gaps when folded. The hinge can also hold the phone open to any angle, sort of like what you'd expect on the hinge of a laptop. While the Z Fold 5 is folded, you'll be interacting with this cover screen, which is virtually identical to the Z Fold 4's external panel, it's a 6.2-inch old with a 120 hertz refresh rate and a 23x9 aspect ratio, a bit taller and narrower than we would have liked. The inner display is also basically the same as before. It's a 7.6-inch foldable OLED panel with a 120 hertz refresh rate and a 5x6 aspect ratio. Samsung claims that this display is brighter now, and when put to the test, we measured nearly 800 nights maximum with the manual slider, which could boost to 1100 nits in auto mode. That's indeed a little better than the 1000 nits of the Z Fold 4. The cover display is similar with 735 nits on the manual slider and nearly 1150 nits in auto mode, and a nice feature is that when you're using the manual control, the brightness matches between the inner and the outer screens. The Z Fold 5's inner display is sharp and contrasty, and the larger size really makes a difference compared to your typical smartphone. The color accuracy can be great depending on your color settings, and you get support for HDR 10 Plus here. Samsung hasn't made any changes to the crease. Where the screen folds over, it's just as pronounced as it was last year. But what nice detail is that, again, the selfie camera lies hidden under the inner display. So at least that won't interrupt the expansive panel, however. If you want to take the best quality selfies, you'd probably use the main rear cameras using the cover screen as a viewfinder. The refresh rate behavior is the same between the inner and the outer displays. The 120 hertz smooths out movements on the screen while you swipe around and is quick to dial down to 24 hertz. When you stop interacting with the screen to save power, Samsung claims it can go down to one hertz as well, but we didn't encounter such use cases. Stylus support is maintained on the Z Fold 5 along with a bunch of exclusive apps to take advantage of it. You still don't get a holder for the stylus built into the phone, though what you can get is a new S Pen, slim case, sold separately. It can hold the stylus for you while adding only a few millimeters of thickness. The S Pen stylus itself is thinner and more compact this year. It's worth mentioning that only the foldable internal display supports the S Pen. You can't use it on the cover screen. For audio, the Z Fold 5 
has a pair of stereo speakers. They're louder than last year with a very good mark on our charts, and the quality is great too with some bass nice vocals and well-presented highs. For biometrics, the Z Fold 5 has a side-mounted fingerprint scanner built into the power button. It's fast and reliable, and although it isn't expandable through micro SD, you can get a ton of storage on the Z Fold 5. The base version has 256 gigs, and there's 512 gigs or a whole terabyte also available. I mentioned before that the main Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy upgrades you get on the Z Fold 5 of the design and the chipset. So let's go over that. Second part now, what you get here is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. That's the most powerful Android chipset available right now, the same as you get in the Galaxy SE 23 series phones. The difference between this and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 you'd find in other flagships is that here, there's a slightly higher CPU clock speed. The performance of the Z Fold 5 is significantly better than the Z Fold 4S, and on top of that, you get support for advanced memory tech, now UFS 4.0 storage and DDR5 RAM. Samsung claims better thermal management this year thanks to a larger vapor chamber, but the results in our prolonged stress test were around the same ballpark as the previous model with some noticeable thermal throttling. The Z Fold 5 has the same battery capacity as last year at 4,400 milliamp hours. And despite the new chipset battery, life is virtually unchanged with the Z Fold 5, earning an endurance rating of 95 hours. When we tested it using the internal display, the cover screen's battery performance turned out similar to that of the inner one. The phone earned a rating of 96 hours when tested there. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 supports up to 25 watt wired charging just like the previous model, and there's no charger included even at this price with a proper adapter. We were able to charge the phone from 0 to 50% in half an hour. It's all right. Nothing great. There is support for wireless charging too. The cameras of the Z Fold 5 are carried over from the Z Fold 4. There's a 50 megapixel main cam, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto cam, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide main camera. So there you have it, guys. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 brings you the most advanced smartphone tech Samsung has to offer as it should for nearly 2,000 bucks. You get the most powerful chipset, excellent cameras, and the phone can fold flat thanks to the revamped hinge, and you won't find rivals that bring this degree of multitasking options plus stylus support. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please ding the like button, and don't forget to subscribe the channel, and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I will catch you in the next one.